SLAs are just short for service level agreements. These are commitments that the 3PL is making with you. The most common ones are receiving time, cutoff time, and accuracy rate. Every good 3PL will have these published on their website. First, let's talk about receiving time. This refers to how long the 3PL is going to fully take to put away your inventory and make your inventory available for sale. During this process, they sort your SKUs and update your inventory in the system. Most 3PLs have a two to four day turnaround time, which mostly depends on the number of SKUs and amount of inventory you are sending. Another SLA that is very important is cutoff time. This is the time set by the 3PL before which orders received go out the same day. For example, if the 3PL's cutoff time is 12 p.m., it means that the orders before 12 p.m. ship out the same day and everything after goes out the next day. And if they have multiple locations in different time zones, it refers to 12 p.m. at that local warehouse time. Lastly, let's talk about the error rate. This is something you will see on the front page of every 3PL's website. You will see 99%, 99.5%, etc. For context, 99.5% means they will make five mistakes per 1,000 orders. Every 3PL will make some mistakes here and there, but what's more important is what policies they have in place in the event of an error. Make sure to ask them about that. Another consideration is the 3PLs will have a different set of SLAs just for Q4. This is normal due to the larger volume expected. Even carriers like UPS and FedEx extend the delivery deadlines to make up for the higher volume. It's important to speak to the 3PL and know their SLAs in advance so you can plan accordingly.